Good morning, everyone. I just realized something. Today is February 8th. Three days ago, if I paid attention to it, we would have celebrated our 18th year in business. Um, I did this type of work for another nine years prior to that. So, 27 years for me. Uh, so that would have been exciting if I let everybody know. We would have had some cupcakes or something. But, you know, I don't have a good memory. So Tank Masters, what's Tank Masters? Tank Masters is a company that removes and installs under and above ground fuel tanks. Uh, we also install above ground and underground fuel tanks. Um, are the environmental part of the company is when those tanks leak into the ground, we remediate the contaminated soil and groundwater. The dynamics of this YouTube page is I work with my entire family. All five of them, four children and wife. Krista, my oldest, is in the office. My three boys are out here with me. The misses you can find at any local department store shopping. And then there's Casey and Corey. So we have a total of eight people in the company. Uh, Corey I've known since he was five. And Casey's been with us, I think she's going on seven years. So, and they're the best. Everybody's the best at what they do. Uh, the nucleus of this company is tremendous. Um, there goes Casey's boyfriend. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the show getting a lot of different comments doing the best I can to make everyone happy got one this morning he's threatening to leave because when I put a different song on the volume is different okay um, I, I mean when I sit and watch TV I've got that remote in my hand and, and right by it there's a volume control button so I would hit that it seems easier to do that than to go to the computer and write a complaint but I sent that over to Roz and we'll work on that. The issue is we get music from many different companies or we get them from the YouTube page. I subscribe to a couple. So they sell us the music at a different volume. So she doesn't pre-play it all the time and um, we don't have like a decibel meter to control that. So our apology, we keep them all at six if you're interested to know <clears throat> so we work on it, all of our complaints and comments i love the comments please keep them up also if you're watching this and you like anything you see go ahead and subscribe for some reason i hear it's the algorithm day after christmas we went nuts for about three weeks we're dying off now so we could be out of business who knows that's the way things go Corey is a little sad here. Let's let's just get his take on this. Good morning, Corey. Good morning. You look a little down today. What? You look a little down today. Not a lot. Yeah. What, what, what happened? Didn't hit. You didn't hit. Nope. We're all betters. We're not big betters. We like to bet. Corey had this thing going on. You start out betting ten dollars, and what? You had to bet like four or five different things. Just had to do a plus one hundred odds. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Well, plus 100. He double up every day. He doubled up every day. So how many days in a row did you hit? Six. So he hit six days in a row. And he had over $1,000 in his account. Now, who's the smartest person you know? I don't know. There you go. Well, your dad's pretty sharp. Um, what did he tell you to do yesterday? Keep, keep the money. Keep the 1000 I said cash out, bro. Yep. He didn't last night. He missed by one player, two points, four points. So now he's got nothing. You, you have me, you always have me. You want me to lend you the money? You can start it up again. All right. He deleted the account, so he was pissed. Well, Mike and I were up last night cheering for you. And you let us down, you let us down. LeBron did not let us down, um, but we move forward. I, my, my bad hit. <laughs>
But Craig only bets for like eight, nine dollars. You don't send in the group chat. My bet hit in the first uh, eight minutes left in the third. Selfish. How much money did you win? Uh, yesterday. Yeah. One hundred and. Wow. One hundred and twenty-five bucks. Very nice. Good for you. I'm up to four twenty-five. Sweet. Like All right. So t today we have a one thousand removal in New Windsor. Mm -hmm. Anything to know about it? But Sam, Sam just phone. walked in with the folder. All right. We're gonna check the folder out. We'll banter a little more, and we'll uh, get back to you guys. Okay, we have reached our destination. I can pull mine out of the way, or we can. Who are you waving at? The little kids. What's up, little man? All right, that's Alan, Craig, Corey, Mike, and Sam. Wait till you see this. Hey, so you did you guys see any pictures on this? Yeah, I showed you the top view. Well, did the top view show this? Come out, right? Yeah. You're bending it already, so.
All right, so we're gonna stick it for water now and level. Hammer! Tank is pitched the other way, so if there is any water, I don't think it's gonna be on this end. Okay. I said three. Yeah. Tiny bit, little tracing of water down there. And it's not empty. No, it's got about four and a half. Yeah. Five inches. Good job, Corey. Hey, if you close the bucket, you could probably catch. I can't see a thing. You gotta tell me. Yeah, close the bucket. Close it all the way. All the way. Come on, come this way. That way. Now go down. Down. Now open it. Open. Go back up. Back up. Ah, you just closed it. Come yeah. all the way this way. He's got to get away Down. Now just open the bucket. Keep opening. All right, now cast it out. Good job, Ryan. That was some pretty good direction, right? Let's hear it from me. Good job, Craig. Let's hear it from <laughs> me. Good job, Brian. Good job, Corey. I'm right there. Right I can't get any credit. You can't ask for credit. I shouldn't. Yeah, but you weren't going to hey, give it to hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Look at your leg. You're going to get caught. That would have made for a good video. All right, we're pumping. We're pumping. You would have went right into that metal. I know. Did this ever get boring for the folks? I mean, because... Nobody loves this company more than me, but when I watch the videos when I'm done, I'm like, oh, really? Wow, well, you gotta clean the tank again? Backfilling again on, on lap time? I mean, here they got Mark Wahlberg on site. So. Mark Wahlberg. Right. Yeah, I don't see that. Come on. Does anybody here see that? He doesn't look like Mark Wahlberg. If I took my shirt off and flexed, then it's, it's easy. You would never take your shirt off for the camera. No. Ever. No. No. When you go to the beach, you go on diet for three months before. Yes. Like Patty the Batty. You look like the L.A. Rams coach. Yes. Show me big. That's what you look like. Ah. Boom. Mm. Like doing a total of losing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Oh, you're a little sassy today, huh? Yeah. A little sassy, man. He's just threatened back. He feels threatened, so he's fighting back. Why? Why? What happened? All I heard was Corey, 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 and I'm just trying to fight my ass. Wow, out. man. We're on your side, dude. We're on the same team. Hey, maybe we should look at Matt. He's literally not even coming close to the bucket. <laughs> is he okay? Did we retrieve him? So Craig just brought up something, Craig. Go ahead, Craig. Tell the folks. The tank is in two pieces. It's welded in the middle. Yep. This side looks like glass that Mikey's on. Yep. The other side looks like there's water in the pits. And why do you think that is? Because it's down middle. Exactly, because it's pitched over here. Just look at the difference. Yep. It's crazy. Is that That's for it? crazy. Yes. Well, even if you mess up, I don't mess up. Well, no, even if you mess up. Dig down. 
down and scoop. Scoop it now, scoop it. Scoop it. Come on. Back out a little as you do it. It was moving.
Okay, so after hitting that with the sledge, you can see there's a couple of little holes there. So I'm gonna dig right in that area and I'll take a sample. We'll do a PID reading. Uh, if those readings are acceptable, we'll just close this out with a site assessment. So let's just see uh, what those readings are. Turn that on, Stokes. All right, so Craig will grab right from, right on top of the tooth. That'll be the lowest point. I think it's gonna be zero. 2.2. Just put tip it down, it's gotta zero it out. That's all right, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. All right, done. 2.2. <laughs> Still dropping. All right. behalf I couldn't really see that's underneath his deck the 80 would have done way better so we're just gonna clean this up 
called it in I took the samples you saw the PID readings they're well above uh, below acceptability so I'm gonna take my four side walls I'm gonna take a bottom sample which I already did uh, and send it to the lab they'll come back good I'm sure and we'll close that spill out as a site assessment there's no need to charge people a lot of money for remediation when you're gonna do a lot of destruction just to chase a yard or two um, that is borderline acceptable. There's no well here. It's all town water. So that's good. I want to thank this guy, Alan. What a good dude. He made this project fun. So that is another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental.